So in question number 58, we have to see in which of the following interaction both the species are negatively, both the species are negatively affected. So if we look into the first option that is mutualism and in the mutualism both the species they are benefited, right? So it is a positive, positive interaction. Competition, you know competition is an interaction in which there is fight between the members of the same species or between the members of different species for resources. Now in the case of the competition, both the interacting species, they are harmed, they are negatively affected. So it's a minus, minus interaction. Now predation, in the case of the predation, predator is benefited and prey is harmed. So it's a positive negative interaction. In the case of the parasitism, again the parasite is benefited and host is harmed. So it's a positive negative interaction. So out of the four, the right option for this question where the both the interacting species, they are negatively affected, that is option number two. So the answer is two here. So let's move on to question number 59. So now in the question number 59, we have to look into the progeny. Uh, of the grandson which may be color blind. Yes, we have to look into the probability. Now you know that the color blindness, it is a sex linked recessive disorder. So in this question you can see that man is color blind. If the man is color blind, so this would be the chromosome complement of the man, right? And the female is normal, yes, normal female. So this is the condition, fine. Now in the case of the female, only one type of gamete that would be formed, that is this one. In the case of male, two types of sperms, they would be produced one carrying X chromosome, the another one carrying Y chromosome. So now after the fertilization, let's see what would be the progeny. So if this egg fertilized with this sperm, yes, this condition is obtained, yes, if this fertilization occurs, then this would be the chromosome complement. Now let's see what is the condition here. So now the sun is normal and you know that in the case, you can see that in the case of the daughter, there is presence of only one diseased allele. So you know such type of the daughter, such type of the female is known as a carrier female. Now if the carrier female she marries a normal man. Now let's see what would be the progeny. Yes, we can make a Punnett square to find the zygotic combination. Right? So, female can produce two types of the gametes. Fine. Male will produce two types of the gamete. Now, after the fertilization, the following type of the zygotes can be produced. Fine. Now, this one, normal condition. Yes, again this is normal. Now, this one, carrier female. And now, this is color blind male, diseased condition. Fine. So if we look into the progeny, yes, so out of the total progeny of the grandsons, 
the half of the progeny can be diseased. So 50% of the progeny of the grandson can be diseased in this case. So what would be the right option here? Option is answer number, option is 2. So for this question, the right answer is option number 2. Fine. So now let's move on to the question number 60. 